my dear future doctors how are you all doing i hope that you are doing amazing so yes i know that you are in this journey for a need preparation and uh, it's a tough journey but but with right company it always becomes easy right and me being a teacher thought that okay i should be doing something for you guys uh, something that could be helpful i would give out certain ideas which you could be putting in your preparation and some things that probably you could exclude from your preparation as well so without further ado let's just begin over here first thing that you should be knowing before uh, getting into the exam is understand the exam pattern and the syllabus okay so the questions understand the format of the paper are you aware about uh, what all chapters or sorry what all subjects are going to come in this particular paper you should be aware it's physics chemistry and biology biology is again divided into zoology and botany okay so these are the four streams that we have so you should be knowing the format of how the question paper is built okay now you know the subject that does not mean that you know everything again the subjects are divided into section a and section b and all this thing you should be knowing that because that's how you will be able to understand that how much you should be preparing for a subject now if you're not aware that biology is giving you more marks it has the highest weightage in there and you are spending most of your time in physics and chemistry rather than biology probably you are not making a right decision right so for that you should be knowing the format of the paper and apart from that you should be checking the syllabus and the weightage for each chapters so for physics whatever chapters are there uh, there might be certain chapters which, which might have uh, which might give you more marks which might uh, give you more questions in every exam in every neat exam so those chapters could be probably prioritized more so we should be knowing the syllabus as well as the weightage now why i am stressing on the syllabus one more thing is that basically few children know they have the old ncert textbook and they just uh, keep on reading it reading it reading it and they are not aware that there is a revised textbook as well which has the deleted portion so you do not have to invest your energy on studying something that is already being deleted again you are investing your time and energy right so you could stop and probably save that much of your time and energy so that is one thing and since we were talking about this i thought that uh, there might be children who might have just thought that we should also try neat right so for them uh, i am here with a, a probable idea of how things work in the paper okay so you have four subject children chemistry physics botany and zoology as i said biology is divided into two now all of them will be having section a and section b in section a there will be 35 questions for all and section b will be having 15 questions now in section a if you know 35 questions you can attend all the 35 question no one is going to ask you but then in section b out of the 15 questions you are supposed to answer just 10 how much only 10 so five questions probably there there's a choice okay there's a choice that okay you can at least attend 10 not 15 just 10 not more than that you cannot you do not have a choice to attend more than that okay so basically can i say from chemistry there are 45 questions in total that we can appear for yeah 35 over here and 10 so it is 45 now each correct answer will be giving you four marks so 45 into 4 gives you 180 so chemistry is out of 180 physics the same thing it is out of 180 now as i said biology is divided into two botany and zoology botany will be having section a and b again 45 questions into 4 180 zoology will also be having the same thing again 45 into 4 that is 180 so together the biology portion 180 plus 180 gives you 360 questions it will be giving you 360 questions children now if you total the whole thing it's 720 so the whole paper is out of 720 now i already told you what you could get if you uh, give the right answer but what about the wrong answer so let's see that as well for every correct answer there will be plus four marks and for every incorrect answer there will be minus one marks as well now if you're not answering the question it is left unattended it will be zero now if you're uh, giving more than one response it will be minus one again because obviously you're not giving a proper choice there so it will be marked as incorrect yeah i hope you got that so this is just a basic idea about the format of the paper again i'll say that you should be definitely seeing a neat paper before before going ahead with the preparation you'll get an idea it's not about getting panicked it's about having an idea of what you're going to do right next thing gather the study materials now what are the study materials first thing ncrt for for sure ncrt uh, for neat aspirant it has to be their best friend always so 
apart from NCRT, there will be reference book depending on the different subjects. You will be having different different books. Physics, it's Aryanth, and then for uh, biology, mainly it is what's a previous year question paper, but mostly it is what NCRT itself. So for different different subjects, there will be other references also. So you should be having those study material with you because NCRT alone, obviously NCRT gives you a huge amount of idea of things. But again, if you need support. Okay, if you need a concept support, then you have to uh, refer to these reference books. Apart from that, it will be really good if you have previous year question banks. So there are books which has the previous year. For example, I teach biology. Okay, so I know it is MTG is there. MTG I prefer very much because it has very much uh, what say segregated form of questions. For example, if I am teaching human reproduction now, right? Now this human reproduction chapter is divided into multiple concepts, and under these concepts you will be finding so many questions which have come in the previous year. So I prefer MTG just like that. There will be different different books for uh, what say all the subjects. Yeah, so you should be gathering the study material. It's not like you're before st starting studying, you're just keeping on gathering. Ma 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 sorry, mommy, I won't study if uh, I do not have uh, the study material. It's not like that. You have your NCRT, you can start from there, but with time again, slowly you can get all these things. Okay, now you get reference book for rent also. So, do you not have to invest too much of your money there? Okay, so if you're thinking of the financial aspect, you can think like that. Now, create a study plan, children. Now, after you are done with everything, you saw the format, you have your NCRT, you can get on and uh, create a study plan for yourself. Over here, what are the things that you should be remembering? Make a study plan with respect to all three subjects. It's not like you are studying just, a because, just because chemistry is your favorite subject. You keep on studying chemistry for the whole week and the next week and the next week. If you go like that, you will go behind in other subjects as well. So we have to take all the subjects hand in hand. Probably two subjects a day will also work. It's fine. But do not make it one subject a day. It won't be that effective. Okay. Please have two to three subjects. With time, you can slowly shift to three as well. You can start with two. But you should be having a proper study plan which you can follow. It's not like for 10 hours straight you study or 12 hours straight you study. Obviously, children, we all are human beings. I hope you are also human being, right? So we cannot uh, invest too much of time at one thing. We have to have small, small breaks. Okay, we need to tell to our brain, okay, there is a break. Just like how we need a break, right? In school time and all, I used to ask my teacher, give me PT period, give me zero period and all, a lot. Why? Because our brain will obviously get tired. Similarly, as of now also, you need break, but smaller breaks, okay? So yes, please make a study plan with respect to all three subjects and then include 10 minutes of active recall for each subject. For example, I am going to study physics over there. Now, before studying physics, Okay, I will be utilizing my 10 minutes for active recall. What do you mean by active recall? I'm not using notebook and things like that to recall what I studied yesterday. Instead, I am trying to think for myself. Oh, this is something that I studied. Uh, okay, 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 okay. Probably I teach myself. That also works. Okay, you can go teach yourself. You're the best uh, student that you have got, right? So basically, in this way, you will be able to remember a lot of things. And make it a point that you have to give 10 minutes. Now, out of 6 hours or 8 hours of preparation that you are doing, whatever our it may be can can't you spend just 10 minutes for recalling it will be really helpful because in this way you're telling your brain hey brain you have to store things if you're not reminding your brain to store things probably your brain will uh, click the delete button and delete all the content so you do not want that okay so please do 10 minutes of active recall it will be really really helpful now if you cannot afford it to do daily uh, make it uh, what's say on alternate days does that work on alternate days can you recall two things together it is perfect then set a weekly target so without a target obviously your long-term target is cracking neat but towards uh, getting to that target you need to have small small targets in your life so these are weekly targets so for example if i am I, me being a teacher i have started human reproduction now i know that this particular human reproduction chapter is giving me 30 sorry 20 uh, marks okay that means or probably five questions that means five into four is 20. I will be spending just a week's time to complete this chapter. That should be my target and I go according to it. If I'm not going according to my target, obviously you would be studying with me and it will be very slow, right? So we have to pace it up. We have to have a weekly target for each subject. It's not just biology. It's also about chemistry and physics. You should be having a weekly target so that at the end of the week, you can say, okay, this is done. 
and then you will be pro at it. I'm telling you. Okay, so this is the third point, children. Going ahead, what do we have? <laughs> Prioritize question practice. So obviously, without practice, it is nothing. Every for everything we need practice. Have you seen people who paint? Okay. Um, so I have seen that most of the thing people think that okay they have uh, they do not have this um, what say uh, gift of painting things but with time i have seen people practicing it and practicing it practicing it practicing it and getting better so basically we need to practice and get better obviously there is no one in this world who will practice and get worse no never it never happens okay so you have to practice your questions now practice questions daily from each subject set the target numbers of questions you can set the target numbers let's start with 20 20 questions each subject for example i i studied a topic okay i read it i had the concepts and everything then i used the question bank i started solving question now if you think the topic does not have 20 questions it's okay then fine whatever questions it has just do that but you have to try it if you're not trying it basically you're not using this into practical format you just learn the theory and when you are studying physics chemistry and biology there is too much inside your brain children so your brain should also actively participate in this process of learning which is why we say we should be including more amount of questions as well and the questions sometimes are very much twisted so you do not get an idea of it now when you try to solve it you will slowly have a hang of it and you will slowly think oh, it's very easy it's just easy you'll come to that level but again as i said when you are making your study plan you have to set a target number of questions that you have to practice every day let's start from 20 20 for physics and chem 20 20 a day okay next day you are doing uh, biology and physics then 20 20 again it is very helpful but you have to do now 20 is not fine for you do it 10 then slowly let's come to 20 and then 30 and then it goes on at one time you will reach when you will be very much very much provided now keep timer while solving questions so whenever you solve a question it's not like uh, you are for taking a whole day to solve 20 questions it's not like that okay you should be setting a target a timer okay for example two minutes or one minute basically one minute okay for smaller questions just one minute it just take 30 seconds or 60 seconds for 40 seconds of your time basically so you just have to keep the timer after the timer if you're still doing the question please stop it there do not invest much of your time there just write you were not able to finish mark it and then go ahead later on we will come and solve this you need to have this particular practice because in the exam time you cannot keep on wasting your time for just one particular question time is so precious there and now also so basically keep timer while solving so you also get a hang of it okay now at the end of the month have a rigorous question practice for three hours and 20 minutes so the neat paper you have to attempt you have to attempt it within three hours and 20 minutes so basically which is why after a month when you're done with so many things because daily you are practicing 20 questions and then weekly target also you are having at the end of the month probably you can have a test of all the questions that you practice something like that with three hours and 20 you do not need to find newer questions and do not need to waste time on that at least this can you revise it once more with with this particular time duration only this much time duration you cannot exceed the time okay so this should be your pattern of doing things so prioritize question practice now going on the fifth one that we have write down your achievement this is very 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 useful okay and not everyone say this to you know the other topics that you covered in a day so basically you have a you can have a diary small diary chutusa right now in the diary every day no right date okay right date and for example today's date is what um what is today's date yes i think it's fourth so it's fourth of september and fourth of september i completed contraceptive methods okay and this and this in biophysics and chem okay three of the things now when i write this next day if i do not study i do not have anything to write i will feel bad then the very next day you missed fifth and sixth one and you came on seventh then you realize oh two days are missed you would try not to miss the 
note entry that you are doing every single day. This will become a habit and you will also feel confident that okay I am doing these many things. At the end of the day confidence also matters. So when you are done with something whatever small thing it is okay but have a bigger goal but yeah okay fine. Write it down that you have completed this and when you write it down that means you have completed you do not need to turn back again at this and invest your time there. You just have to do active recalling nothing else. Okay. So that should be one case and apart from that make sure to have the data of the number of questions solved. So apart from uh, putting down the concepts that on 4th September you did this concept I want you to write as I said you set a target right that is 10 questions or 20 questions. I did concept and 10 questions done for physics I did concept and 10 questions for chemistry concept and 10 questions please write like that okay you will get an idea of what you have completed and you do not need to go back again you do this date wise date wise and it just takes two minutes five minutes max to max and do not go color in there okay as of now we don't need to make it fancy it's just for your reference it's just for your understanding it's just for you to understand that probably you should not be missing you should be writing every single day and for that you will definitely try okay now sixth proper usage of time you should be dividing your time very wisely so before investing time again and again check the weightage of the portion so for example one particular thing one particular chapter or topic I'm not able to understand whatsoever I do okay I invested too much time in it and I'm still investing time but is this topic worth this time that I'm investing that is something that you should be asking to yourself how can you make it confirmed that you should be going to the weightage page and see that how much weightage does it actually have should I be investing or later on probably when I have time should I be investing time then okay you should be prioritizing prioritizing this now sometimes you know what you do you choose all the difficult topics together and try to learn that is also wrong which is my next point don't try to finish the difficult topics from three subjects at once for example this is difficult for me in bio physics and chemistry all of that I took in one day because I divided physics chem bio I have to do it anyways no children please take an easy one a moderate one and a difficult one so that you have a gist of everything together and you can learn it easy okay and now there might there might be days where you are studying difficult topics but it should be revision it's not it should be it should not be active studying okay active studying as I said it should be easy moderate and tough that should be together or easy and tough just that's all okay or moderate and tough but not everything that is tough it will be difficult for you at the end of the day you will be what say thriving for life you don't know you won't you won't be having that energy to study further okay so you should be knowing how to properly utilize your time so that was the sixth point and after that we have the last point that is you have to stay consistent okay staying consistent is one of the biggest deal now if you're staying consistent everything becomes easy all this preparation is going to be like this so mark in the collector calendar after studying so for example as I said you are noting down things that's also fine or else what you can do is that in calendar which you can probably see you just marking I studied this day make a circle make a circle make a circle so without studying obviously you won't go and make a circle that is something that you that is your little talk with the calendar right so obviously you won't be doing that I don't think that cheating will be done so yes you can mark the things in the calendar after studying and reward your consistency it's not like you are studying 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 and studying children please try to reward yourself with some breaks or probably something that you like to eat okay it's, it will be like I studied these many things if I study these many things in a week hmm, I shall probably eating this thing something that you like or probably doing something that you like anything of that sort but you should also reward yourself because uh, as I said we all are human beings at the end it's just an exam that we're thinking of cracking but we have to put all efforts and when we are putting all efforts we should be thankful to us our body right our brain and everything so this thankfulness you're showing in the form of a reward a small reward maybe a break a food or whatever you want so that is all about uh, the steps that I want you to remember while uh, studying while studying or preparing for NEET and I just wish you all the very best for everything that comes along your way and as you know we have started the NEET series uh, I request each of you to join that series uh, I am putting my 100% in teaching you guys so yes you can uh, make use of it if you definitely want to uh, 
that's all okay so if you like this video if you think that this was useful for you do not forget to subscribe to the channel as well i just wish you good health and happiness bye bye take care